welcome to this month's basic training video. In this video, we will show a basic overview of the Ventus Pro multi gas monitor and the Sensit combustible gas leak detector. Both of these meters are used daily throughout Montgomery County for a variety of incidents. Let's take a look first at the Ventus Pro multi gas monitor. To turn this meter on, push and hold the power button for three seconds. The Ventus meter will prompt the user to perform a pump test after the meter is turned on. This will require blocking the inlet with your finger. After the pump test is complete, remove your finger from the inlet. Next, you will be prompted to press the panic button. If the Ventus meter passes this pump test, you can continue to use the meter. But if the meter fails the pump test, the user should repeat the pump test. If the Ventus meter continuously fails the pump test, the meter must be taken out of service. Zeroing the Ventus meter should be performed daily and before each use on an incident. To zero the meter, move to clear air. Now push the power button to scroll to the zero screen. Next, push the enter button to start the zeroing process. When complete, the Ventus meter will display the zeroing complete screen. Users should clear the peak readings of the Ventus meter before entry into any incident. This will ensure that the peak readings are from the current incident and not a previous incident. To clear the peak readings, push the power button to scroll to the peak reading screen. Push the enter button to clear the peak readings. The Ventus meter has three separate sensors and is capable of reading oxygen percentage, carbon monoxide in parts per million, and lower explosive limit of certain combustible gases. Now let's take a closer look at these three sensors. The oxygen sensor detects the presence of oxygen in percent by volume of air. In clear air, the oxygen sensor should read 20.9%. The low oxygen alarm activates at 19.5%. The high alarm activates at 23.5%. The measurement range of the oxygen sensor is 0 to 30%. The carbon monoxide sensor detects the presence of carbon monoxide in parts per million. In clear air, the sensor should read zero parts per million. The low CO alarm activates at 35 parts per million. The high alarm activates at 70 parts per million. The measurement range of the carbon monoxide sensor is zero to 2,000 parts per million. The combustible gas sensor detects the presence of combustible gas in percent of lower explosive limit or LEL. The Ventus meter is calibrated to methane, also known as natural gas. In clean air, the LEL sensor should read 0%. The low alarm activates at 10% of the LEL. The high alarm activates at 20% of the LEL. The measurement range of the combustible gas sensor is 0 to 100% LEL of methane. To power off the Ventus meter, push and hold the power button for five seconds. Now let's discuss the Sensit combustible gas leak detector. To turn the combustible gas leak detector on, push and hold the A button until the unit powers up 
Then release the button. The unit will go through a warm-up cycle and will auto-zero. This meter has a user-activated audible tick button to help locate small gas leaks. The display of this meter reads in percentage of the LEL of methane. The Sensit meter has three buttons, A, B, and C. The A button operates the power and mute feature. The B button operates the audible tick feature. The C button operates the backlight or will manually zero the sensor. The Sensit meter detects the presence of combustible gases in percent LEL of methane. In clean air, the sensor should read 0%. The alarm will activate at 10% of the LEL. The measurement range of the meter is 0 to 100% LEL of methane. Before the audible tick mode can be used, the environment must be checked with the Ventus Pro multi-gas monitor. To use the audible tick mode, push and release the B button to hear the audible tick rate. As the instrument is moved closer to a combustible source, the audible tick rate will increase. Press the A button to deactivate the audible tick mode. The Sensit meter is powered by three field-replaceable C-sized batteries, which will provide about 50 hours of use. Battery replacement is necessary when the battery icon is illuminated in the display. When the green LED is flashing, there is approximately 15 minutes of runtime left. To power off the Sensit meter, push and hold the A button for 5 seconds until the display reads Power Off. Here are some other considerations and limitations when using the Ventus and Sensit meters. The Ventus and Sensit meters should be used as a pair. Oxygen enriched or oxygen deficient atmospheres may cause inaccurate readings with the Ventus meter. Be aware that regarding the Ventus meter, other gases can give a false reading. For example, hydrogen gas will give a false reading of carbon monoxide. Rescue squads are equipped with the Ventus Pro 5 meters. These meters have an additional sensor to detect gases such as hydrogen sulfide, which is a common asphyxiant gas found in sewers. The Ventus meter should be placed on its docking station at least once a shift. This docking is essential and it calibrates the Ventus meters via the gas bump test procedure recommended by the manufacturer. The Sensit meter is designed to be used in clean, dry areas only. Liquids will damage the sensor. Caution. When dealing with a propane release, the Ventus flammable gas sensor readings will be lower than the actual LEL. If you have any noticeable changes or discrepancies in meter readings, consider contacting a hazmat officer for a consult or a hazmat response. This concludes our monthly basic training video. The Ventus Pro multi-gas monitor and the Sensit combustible gas leak detector are vital tools in our toolbox that, when used properly, can detect ideolation environments quickly with a minimum of fire rescue exposure, thus helping protect first responders and our stakeholders throughout Montgomery County.